everybody, I'm Private Matt, and I've been recently getting several messages regarding my favorite class setups for Bad Company 2. I figured I'd answer those questions through a video. I found great success using these kits, so next time you're on the battlefield, consider trying them out. My favorite setup for the Assault Kit consists of the AUG Assault Rifle as my primary weapon, the MP443 Grok as my secondary, the 40mm Grenade Launcher Attachment, the Extra Grenade Perk for Spec 1, Magnum Ammo for Spec 2, and Upgraded Vehicle Armor for my Vehicle Spec. The AUG Assault Rifle has a maximum damage of 16.7 per bullet, and a fairly high rate of fire at 700 rounds per minute. These factors make the AUG a high-powered killing machine for those who can handle the gun's medium recoil. The AUG is a great weapon, but one that you will have to adjust to, as it feels very different from all the other assault rifles in the game. My favorite setup for the Engineer Kit consists of the XMA Compact as my primary weapon, the MP44 Grack as my secondary, the AT4 Rocket Launcher, the Extra Ammunition Perk for Spec 1, Magnum Ammo for Spec 2, and Upgraded Vehicle Armor as my Vehicle Spec. The XMA Compact has a maximum damage of 16.7 per bullet and a fire rate of 750 rounds per minute. The XMA Compact is one of the best weapons in the game for close quarters engagements due to its high damage and its small hip fire spread. The weapon also performs great at longer ranges if you burst fire to control the weapon's recoil. The weapon performs best on close quarter maps with vehicle spawns such as Eureka Harbor and Harvest Day. My favorite setup for the medic kit consists of the M249 saw as my primary weapon, the MP44 Grok as my secondary, the red dot sight for spec 1, magnum ammo for spec 2, and upgraded vehicle armor as my vehicle spec. The M249 saw has a maximum damage of 14.3 per bullet and a very high rate of fire at 900 rounds per minute. The weapon's 200 round magazine makes running out of bullets not a problem. The saw has the lowest recoil of all the LMGs in the game, but I would recommend to burst fire the weapon when shooting at targets from longer ranges. The weapon is really easy to use and I would recommend it highly to newer players at the game. I found that the saw can be most effective on maps such as Isla Inocentes and Laguna Presa. My favorite setup for the Recon Kit consists of the G3 as my primary weapon, the MP443 Grok as my secondary, C4, the extra ammunition perk for Spec 1, Magnum Ammo for Spec 2, and upgraded vehicle armor as my vehicle spec. The G3 has a maximum damage of 25 per bullet and a rate of fire of 500 rounds per minute. The G3 is a very high damage weapon and is effective at all ranges. When combined with the perks of the Recon Kit, Motion Sensors and C4, the kit turns into an all-purpose NCOM arming, charge diffusing monster. The kit can be used effectively on all maps and provides anti-infantry and anti-vehicle capabilities. I would recommend this kit to more experienced players as successfully being aggressive with the kit can sometimes be difficult. Well that's about it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed and if you did be sure to give a like rating as well as subscribe to my channel to see all my latest content. I'm Private Matt and I'll see you on the battlefield, enjoy.